Hello, Assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to a new video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today I will teach you how to get your Intel HD graphics working on your Hackintosh. So this is very anticipated video and everyone out there with a Hackintosh wants their Intel graphics to work perfectly fine. I already made a video like one and a half year ago on it and that was basically for Yosemite and then Ali Capitan but that got outdated now and we are in an era of macOS Serap. The latest and the greatest one so if you want your intel hd to work over it you need to do some real hacking and i will teach you how to get that working so here you can see in the displays my both of the displays are working perfectly fine and i have already switched one display to intel, uh, nvidia gtx 970 and other one to intel hd 4600 if we go back in my system preferences and here you can see I can get the AirPlay display as well. If we go to system report in here, graphics, you can see both of the graphic cards are working perfectly fine. And now I will teach you how to get that thing working on your macOS X Sarah Hackintosh. The first thing you need is you need an EFI mounter. After opening it, you have to enter your super secret password and then you have to mount for your EFI. Remember, if you don't know which one is your OS X disk, then you can just open Clover Configurator. Go to mount check and here you can see mine my one is disk one on which my OS X is installed. I will click on disk one. Okay, mount. After mounting, all you need to do is open your clever configurator. Go click to this home, click on this config.tlst graphics, and here click this load V BIOS inject Intel. Load V BIOS inject Intel two things and here in boot click that npci 0x2000 as well and ver verbose minus v as well so you get to know what is going on with your ha hackintosh while it boots up after that just save it the other thing you need to do is you have to open the link i will provide in the description below and from there you will download the magic text i will open that folder for you right now and i have made two folders one is for os6 sarah the other one is for yosemite for sarah you have to open the sarah one copy these three into your efi open your efi folder clever and here in text 10.12 copy it i have already pasted it so let's do it for you again replace 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 after that just if you're using intel 9 series motherboard which means if you're using z97 or h97 click this intel 9 series hd 4600 fix after that just close it and restart your computer and your intel hd graphics will be working fine and crazy and one more thing also don't forget to go to this install driver and uninstall this csm video dxe do not forget to uninstall it make it wide here you can see driver not installed otherwise your intel hd graphics won't boot up with clover configurator and there are some boot menu settings as well so we will boot into our boot menu to see what changes we have to do to get our intel hd graphics working on our hackintosh so we are in our boot menu and what you have to do for enabling your intel hd graphics is you have to go to this peripherals and here you have to select the initial display output as Intel graphics so if you're using a dedicated graphic card as well which means if you're using any separate graphic card as well still you have to choose Intel graphics as the initial display out and in Intel processor graphics you have to enable it and you have to choose the maximum available memory for it you have to put the DV empty total memory size to max as well and then you have to select XHCI hands off, EHCI hands off, enable, enabled. And in other features, you have to select your Windows 8 features to other OS, boot more selection, selection to UEFI. And then you have to save and exit. And we will boot into our OS X with our Intel graphics working. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask and the link for the text and that Intel 9 series patch will be in the description below. Just click it and download it. Remember to choose the folder specified for your OS X version. That's all for this video guys. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. For more videos, 
please subscribe to my channel like share and subscribe